Hey, this is Jack at Anatomy Zone, and in this tutorial, we're going to go through the anatomy of the teres minor muscle. So the teres minor is one of the four muscles which makes up our rotator cuff. And it sits with the other rotator cuff muscles, just underneath the more powerful superficial shoulder muscles. The teres minor itself sits on the posterior scapula, inferior to the infraspinatus muscle and just above its larger, more powerful brother, the teres major muscle. The teres minor originates on the superolateral border of the scapula, which is here. And then from its origin, it then moves around the posterior aspect of the scapula to insert into the inferior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus bone. And remember that the infraspinatus muscle sits on the middle facet and the supraspinatus sits on the superior facet, and that's remembered with the acronym SIT. In terms of its action, in isolation, the teres minor produces lateral rotation of our humerus bone. But like with the other rotator cuff muscles, in reality what it's doing is providing dynamic stability to our shoulder joint so that our shoulder stays stable whilst we're moving our arm. If we now look at the nerve supply, the teres minor receives its innervation from the axillary nerve and so that's quite um, an unclear picture with everything else going on. So I'm just going to dissect away a few of those objects. And you can see that axillary nerve a bit clearer now. Um, it's made up of the cervical nerve roots C5 and C6. And the axillary nerve itself actually originates as a terminal branch uh, from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. And then from its origin there, the axillary nerve then just wraps around the side of the scapula to move on to supply the teres minor. In terms of its blood supply, the teres minor receives its arterial supply from two arteries, the subscapular artery and the circumflex scapular artery. So the subscapular artery arises from the much larger axillary artery. And then the circumflex scapula actually comes off of the subscapular artery as one of its first branches. And then it's both of these arteries that then wrap around the back of the scapula to supply the teres minor muscle. So that's the anatomy of the teres minor muscle. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.